Everything's good, guys. Good morning. It is five past six on the 1st of April. So we're officially four and a half weeks out from the first pro qualifier. I wanted to start vlogging this prep. I wanted to start taking you along the journey with me um, when I feel like shit, getting the camera out, when I feel good, getting the camera out, when I'm running a high day, getting the camera out, when I'm getting closer to the, the show. Really been able to just have the ability to get the camera out and showcase everything. And I feel since being back in Dubai and having this amazing routine that I've now got in place that is completely different to what I've ever done before. I've just not shown you any of it. So I've gone to great lengths today to, to get the camera out, get the tripod and and, and, and produce this video. Today we're, we're gonna show you what a full day of eating looks like on a rest day. We're gonna show you what stamina posing looks like and the challenge that I'm having with my midsection into my rib cage. And we're gonna run through that with Isaac. We're gonna run through my current routine and my setup. Everything has changed since coming back to Dubai and I feel like a, a, a man reborn. I've always been somebody who trains in the afternoon or, or, or towards the evening time and, and I've shifted that since coming to Dubai. And, it's just allowed me to manage my business a lot better, manage my emotions a lot better, ultimately keep stress low, which I struggled with last prep. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit more about how I live here, um, because I feel like I don't. So this right here is probably my favorite part of the day. So feel privileged to be sat here with me right now because I usually don't speak to anyone at this part of the day. I just check WhatsApp, get back 20 messages, have my electrolytes, have my coffee. The WhatsApp will gen generally churn out some to-dos, so I'll get my notepad ready here and make sure they're all listed in. But I say I have my coffee, and I'd say practice gratitude. I don't write it down, but I get the sunrise here. I get the city of Dubai, and that's pretty surreal for a, for a guy just from Rotherham. So it's about just taking it all in for the first hour of the day and, and prepping for what will be um, a very long day. So the plan is we've just finished the coffee now. Um, I'm gonna get ready, head to the gym for faster cardio and steps, and then we'll be into meal one. Might be getting to my late 20s now. I'm still cool enough to wear these. If you've not got the Dragon Ball Z tops from VQ yet, they have just got a small amount restocked. When my dad sees that I need to top up the washer fluid, he's gonna laugh because it's a running joke that we have that when I was in the UK, my dad still sorted the MOT out for the car. He sorted the insurance. And I've had this car three months now and I still don't know how to open the engine. So one one lesson that I'm gonna to learn today and by the end of this video, I'm gonna to top up the, the washer fluid. So you'll have to stay to the end to make sure that I do that. But we're in the car now on, on the way to the gym. Um, I've changed my rest day approach at the minute. So I usually will get up, go to the gym, uh, sorry, go to the gym in the apartment um, and then literally do steps around the harbor, which is quite nice on a rest day, it's different. But truth being told, like there's a lot of fatigue in my legs at the minute and the bike in the apartment gym is just running me into the ground. So I'm gonna head to Banu's do stairs, which I find a little bit lighter at the minute. But before we do that, I wanna run through my routine and, and how I've changed it. So you'll all know I'm an afternoon guy who trains in the afternoon. But since moving to Dubai, my routine's not worked. So I've lived here probably 18 months now and during that time frame, what I was doing is getting up at like 6 a.m. Working from like 6.30 a.m. to probably 12 on check-ins. From 12 to like 12.30, getting back to WhatsApps, 12.30, driving to the gym, getting to the gym for one and being at the gym for like three hours off my phone. Coming back from the gym, back onto WhatsApp to clear the, the messages and catch up, onto calls with staff, new clients, potential clients, um, and then into any late check-ins. I'm usually wrapping the day up at around 9, 9.30. Going to bed and repeating it. I was like, I can't keep running my life like this. Like, as much as I love work, there's no time for me. So, as much as this is not optimal and as much as, like, the routine at the minute is probably not favourable from a hypertrophy standpoint, 
what I actually do now is I wake at six, I have the hour that you've just seen, and then I literally set off to the gym in a fasted state. All I have is my intra workout, which is five gram of creatine, 20 gram of essential amino acids. Um, so I'm training in a fasted state with Ollie now, and, and there's no drop off in performance. Obviously when running fat burners, this is what's got me lean so quick now, because I'm probably burning 2000 calories. I do my training, do my cardio, I get back home at around half nine, I eat, shower and then I start work for probably like let's say half 10 and just work straight through to like 8 p.m. I have a break in between to get steps in and finish the steps and then steps in the evening and then I watch I watch Netflix for an hour and for me that has been an absolute game changer for emotional stress mental stress like clarity like I feel way more present in Dubai now I feel way more present with the people that I'm with way less stressed I'm a better coach better athlete and the prep's running smooth. So, yeah, it's took a lot for me to change that routine because I'm a creature of habit, but it's one that's definitely paid off. Anyway, I'll stop chatting shit and we'll get to the gym. Now I'm gonna show you the amount of supercars in this building. Porsche, number one. Porsche, number two. And by the way, look at how tight it is to get down this. It is an absolute outrage. Look at that. The amount of whips in this building is absolutely outrageous. There's gold Lambos, there's Ferraris. I've never quite seen anything like it. Now this household makes me laugh. One white Ferrari wasn't enough. They wanted two. Nice. Rolls. G-Wagon. Urus at the side of it. Steady Defender. Another Rolls. Another Defender, all blacked out. Gold Urus. Rolls, Cully, Bentley. Another Urus. I mean, it's taking the piss a little bit, innit? I got a nice Merc thinking, yes, big man. No. Absolute little man. Finish it off, G-Wagon Brabus. And there's some more downstairs, but you get the point. Dubai is wealthy. Yeah. Try me a time. So just got to the gym now. It's nice and quiet. So we're gonna hit Stairmaster, hit some steps after, some abs. But the funny thing is, if anyone who's ever been to Banus will know that to get in Banus you need a facial recognition. And only over the last two weeks have I been able to get in with a facial, re facial recognition because when I moved here, I was a natty bodybuilder, weighing 72 kilograms, peeled out my mind. <laughs> so my face has just changed and carries a lot more body fat and fluid now, so yeah. But we're not too bad. That is 43 minutes done. It took me three minutes to get my heart rate above 120, and I always keep it within that range. But I've made a crucial error. Look at this, you have got to be kidding me. I wore grey today. Tell me if you can see that. Another news though, bastard rig, it's taking shape. Bad. So, that's 43 minutes. Ooh, get my head in that. That's 43 minutes on the stairs done. We'll wrap that up now and then we'll um, head into 20 minute steps and then get home. Because I don't want to walk around this gym like I've pissed myself any longer. <laughs> so that's steps done, cardio done. 5K steps and 40 minutes cardio. All done before half eight. Home for nine, eat. 
shower, start work. Let's get into the food now, the main bulk of the video. Rest day diet set up at the minute. It's quite aggressive to be honest. So obviously cardio now, as you've seen, is at 40 minutes times seven every single day. Um, and then non-training day diet, we're pretty much sat at 260 protein, 43 fats, 244 carbs, total calories 2,399. We have five meals across the day. How I split them really is I have six, <laughs> because my meal one is um, quite a big meal. So to kick off, it is two eggs, 300 egg whites, 80 oats, 150 berries, and then 100 veggies. So what I do now is I have that actually have my oats meal with frozen berries. And then I take some whey from my meal free, which is cream of rice with 50 whey and 150 berries and 20 dark chocolate, just to make the protein a little bit nicer. Um, so I take 25 gram of whey out of that. And again, it's good to have protein with a serving of food now, but I'm gonna show you the importance of meal prep. So I can't take all the praise for this because I've not done it. But what I do now, and I've learned this with, with prep is, and if you're busy, is prepping your meals is so important. So the protocol that we follow is typically we prep meals on a Sunday. That will be for Monday and Tuesday. We repeat that on a Wednesday, and then we've got Thursday's meals in there, and then we'll repeat that on a Friday for Fridays and Saturdays. So we've got all three cooked meals today, um, which I'll talk you through later on in the video in terms of what is in them. We'll kick off with meal one. So I feel the perfect blend with oats at the minute is 350 water, three and a half minutes in the microwave. That works really well for me. You just tilt this up a little bit, I'm still a newbie. And then what I do is I'm using the Supplement Needs Caramel Biscuit Whey ISO at the minute. 25 gram, and then typically just pour it in. Mix it together. That'll then take the flavor away from, for me, porridge on its own is just not even worth eating. Um, and again, it makes it a little bit runnier, so a little bit more volume, um, which at this point in prep is, is absolutely everything. And that's how I prefer my oats. I'll put this back in the microwave now for like 30 seconds, just to get a little bit more of the consistency I'm after. Um, but the taste test with the caramel biscuit might be biased because I'm on prep. 10, 10. 30 more seconds and it's good to go. 150 frozen berries. What I do is I put all of them to one side of the oats because otherwise what I find is they'll make your oats cold. And I don't like cold oats. And there we have it. Meal one. Three minutes later, gone. Up next is no food, but Obviously, I want to educate as much as possible and talk people through what I'm actually taking from a supplement standpoint at the minute because it's quite overwhelming. So, I think there's probably upwards of 20 tablets. So, let's run through them. Morning done, let's begin some work and I'll see you at meal two. Showered, 10 check-ins down and it's 12 o'clock and all I've eaten is meal one. So one of the things I like to do now is I'll get a sugar-free Diet Coke. This'll blow me a little bit, fill me up. I'll drink that in probably about six minutes. I usually work through another 10 check-ins now um, and then we'll get into meal two. What I find works super, super well in a, in, in a deficit or in a diet is like, I like to chill in an evening with food. With this new routine, 
you've heard me on this channel like I never watch telly, I never relax. Now I actually have like an hour or two chilling, relaxing, having downtime, reflecting, ready for another day and I'm, honestly I am fucking such a better person. Better person to be around, more relaxed, ready for work the next day. And I get it, like, hustle, 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 and you know that's what I'm about. But I think having that element of downtime each day now has just taken me to another level of productivity, another level of, let's say, people skills and just a nicer person. So, yeah, we'll, um, we'll get that down the hatchet and then we'll show you meal two. Nothing exciting. But we'll run through the, 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 the measurements, what sources I'm using. Uh, I've got a nice hack, a nice diet hack that you want to stay around for today. It's a cake, and I'm going to make a cake, and I'm going to eat a cake at four weeks out. So you'll have to see what that cake is. Meal two, let's get it. Let's run through what we have. Let's get the camera a little bit closer, shall we? We're operating off what is 200 gram of chicken, uncooked weight, 70 gram of dry weight jasmine rice, and then 100 gram of greens um, and veggie variety at the minute. Everything is prepped beforehand. Why I honestly preach meal prep is because I'm busy. I've not got time now in between work to start dishing up and chefing up in the kitchen to get some meal prep. So two to three minutes in the microwave. I'm operating off six gram of pink salt at the minute as well per day, so I weigh that out at the start of each day. It takes me 10, 15 minutes to eat this. I look out of the window and then I'm back into work. It's about being efficient, it's about being on the money with your time frames, so that the client gets the best service. I'm not absolutely starving, stressed, cooking a meal. Meal prep is key. What's the saying? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail, all that bullshit. I moved into this apartment, and I'm a dishwasher guy, I'm not a pot washer, and I didn't check it out a dishwasher, but not only that, there's no room for a dishwasher, so I have to clean the pots about three times a day. But we're going to yam this meal and then uh, we're back into work. But yeah, as you can see, it's now quarter past one. So I've eaten this a little bit early, but I'm starving. And we're only two meals deep and we've been up seven and a half hours. So like I said, I prefer to save my food towards the back end of the day. But to get me through this next bulk of work, I need to eat. Sauce-wise, I've got a few varieties, so I've shown you. These are the, the lowest calories. So you've got the hot sriracha. So per 15 gram of that, you've got 10 calories and then the Nando sauce as well. So these are my go-tos on prep. Usually a week out, I'll pull them completely. Um, and just eat plain chicken and rice, just because any additional calories aren't on the plan. The way my brain works, I like to just get everything out. So yeah, that's where we're at. So up next, we have my least favorite meal of the day. 200 gram uncooked, 5% reduced fat beef mints. 100 gram of cherry tree tomatoes and 100 gram of veg. So I load up a little bit more veg in here because I eat this meal and my stomach feels like it's not eaten. Um, again, I have like 10 to 15 gram of hot sauce on this just to add a little bit of flavor. But this is what I call the pity meal. The meal that I least look forward to. After this, we have another two meals. We have a chicken and rice meal, which is a repeat of the meal we've already eaten, and then we have a cream of rice dish, and then we have an omelet with some veg. But remember, I'm making a cake, so I'm gonna make the cake after I've eaten this to fill me up a little bit more. But this meal is far from exciting, as you can see. The one thing I will say on, on this meal is, throughout a prep, you're always gonna have those meals where, I don't dislike this meal, I enjoy it, it's just not enough, it's not satiating. And on a prep, you're gonna have that, you're gonna be hungry, you're going to eat meals and feel like you've not eaten the cream of rice dishes like that today. And pretty much every dish is like that now, I'm hungry. The one thing I will always say in a diet is the worse you feel, the better you look. And I'm at that point now where I want to be hungry. I want to feel shit because if I don't, then I'm not in the territory that I need to be in. Key tip that I do with all my meals now, and I'm not shown, shown me eating them, is I never touch my phone. Like I literally just, like I said earlier, look out of the window, focus on my food, chew my meals, make it last, savour it and enjoy it because there's not a lot of food. I feel like Jamie Oliver today in his kitchen giving tips out. Here we've got the cake. So what we've got 25 protein just poured into a jar like that. And what you do is I don't measure this, but I roughly get, and remember what this is, baking powder. But we get around that much on the spoon, look, not much. All I do then is drop it in the middle 
mix it around. By the way, this is so easy to make. All you do is that. And then what you will do, drop some water in it. Enough to make it into a paste. Fuck, drop the spoon in. And then you literally just stir it till you've got a paste. I'll we'll show you the consistency you need at the end of it. Probably added a little bit too much water. But that means it's gonna be a bigger pancake, bigger cake. And it don't look good once it's finished. It don't look great. It should look not so much like that, but you get the you get the gist. It's pretty much like water, right? And then what you do? Spread it evenly across a dish. Microwave for sixty seconds. That's been in the microwave for a minute, so as you can see, it's not much of a cake. Does it need a little bit longer? It doesn't, but look, it's like a cake. No one get me wrong. It's no sponge cake, but this is probably my highlight of my day to look you, literally. Like that. Wow. I feel like I'm cheating on my diet. And for me, if you're struggling in your diet, and you've got whey protein in it, and you're drinking it, it's not going to fill you up. Whereas with this, I've nailed this actually. I usually make it less watery and it's drier, but this is just hard on the top, soft in the middle. But the caramel biscuit one, your way is going to depend on how good this is. But your caramel biscuit one from Sutneed is very good. Look at that. Mm. And now, we've eaten this, I've got a haircut. So I've not had a haircut in a week and a half. I usually get one every week. I'm at that stage in prep where I don't really give a fuck what I look like. But we're going to show you the barbers now that we've eaten that. Medium fade, but like, I had two weeks ago in the barber. Working out, but I'm keeping my chin up. But jogger never fall. I don't even fall in love. No, I ain't complaining. That's when everyone give up. The only shot I ever see you making is bitch cup. Oh, damn. Who's that dude? Three o'clock, eleven o'clock. Get your midsection right. Waist outwards. And then. And then boom, top line. Big lads. Think about big lads. That's the one. Good. When you can then bend that elbow slightly. You bend your elbow a little bit. I think with this shot, when I hit it, I'm constantly thinking where my hands are going. And I think, bro, I think it flattens my chest out. It's a good shot and I probably will hit it to reset from that to then that. But look at, from this, look at how much width I've got, bro, in my shoulders to then that. It's like, it is there and it's another good shot to hit and then I can hit that and hit all three. But I just feel more in control when both hands are off and I feel like, like, I know now, as soon as I hit that, look at my hips, set them in. Yeah. So now, I want you to get used to hitting that pose over and over again. Yeah. Um, what we're going to try and do now, is we're going to try and manipulate your mid session a little bit whilst hitting that pose and see how that looks right. Yeah. So, 3, 11, bend, 8. Here. See. Yeah. That's it. Good. Hold up there, man. Hold it there. Hips forward a little bit for me. That's it. Lean back a little bit. Yeah bro, I think I've, I've been a lot more present this year, I've, I've enjoyed prep, I've not dreaded it and bro, fucking hell, I first pose in less than what, January last year, it's been, I've not partied, I've not enjoyed life, I have enjoyed life, I've enjoyed this but I've, I've sacrificed everything bro and I think hopefully I get the reward for it. So that's posing practice, as you can see, it's not easy, um, last year I hit both hands on the hip, went down really well. Um, and I'll show you, but this year it seems that, wow, that shot's not, it's still good, but it's probably not as good as that feet there, that shot, because I get all this up the shelf, so 
this is just work that I'm gonna have to put in. This is shit you don't see. You think we just eat, t train, like all this posing now is gonna be every single day, so. We've got favorite meal of the day, which I'm gonna eat in peace because I enjoy this and I savor it. So we've got 20 gram dark chocolate. We had the protein mug cake at 25 earlier. So there's meant to be 50 gram away in here, but I've already had that as two protein mug cakes and 150 berries. Um, and to be honest, I think the way sometimes ruins the cream of rice. But the cream of rice that you need to get if you've not got it is the cookie dough supplement needs one, 10, 10. But I'm gonna enjoy this in peace. Then we've got my omelet and my final meal in one. Uh, but you can see, it's a banger. That's what your cream of rice should look like. Show you the consistency. I like it like a little base, like a cake. Look at that. Nice cake. 70 gram cream of rice, 450 water, a minute in the microwave, stir and then repeat till you get that consistency. Final meal of the day. So we, it's now nine o'clock. And I like to save food for like the last hour of the day. Um, just so that I go to bed full because with a new routine, I train pretty much in a fasted state with the exception of the intra workout, which as I said earlier is, is not the most optimal, but I've not seen any regressions in performance at all. So what we've got is uncooked weight, 200 gram chicken, uh, 70, gram, 70 gram dry weight, and then 100 veggies. But on top of this, what I'm actually not gonna show you because I'm gonna get sat on the sofa and relax is a 300 mil egg white, with two whole eggs um, and 100 gram veggies. And I eat those pretty much both together. So that I go to bed full, I wake up, still got some energy in me, I can perform optimally. Um, but as you can see, it's a long day. I've not shown any check-ins today, but we've had 25 check-ins, calls with staff. So it's been a busy day, but I hope this vlog gives you more of an insight in terms of me. I feel when I, I, I film with videographers, as much as I like it and as good as it is, because the content's usually high quality. You've not got me going like this with a camera or some dodgy tripod angle. I just feel this is more authentic. And in the dog end of the prep now at four weeks out, I feel I've put myself in a position where I can just grab the camera and tell you guys exactly how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna put the pressure on myself to try and produce two YouTubes a week, one high quality and then one vlog. Fresh trim, busy day, done the posing. Gonna sit and enjoy the final meal. Get some Netflix on, but I'll see you in the next one.